Hello and welcome back to Industries of Type. Um, on the last episode, I was I was saying generally what I was going into generally what we were going to be building next. So our next big purchase is going to be the smokestack, um, just to get rid of all of the wastage that we've got at the moment. Um, and while we could get the air purifier in the industrial fan, it's not, yeah, there's not really any point in them. Eventually the, um, the pollution does dissipate, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Um, 600, so it's going to go down to 1800, yeah, it should be fine. I'm building these extra storage facilities just so I've got some extra storage space really. Again, I'm not. I'm not upgrading my headquarters for the moment. Uh, you might think, no, oh, yeah, upgrading the headquarters would be good because, like, you get more employees and what. But this was what I was trying to avoid. Okay, so what I'm going to want to do isotopes. Okay, can we? Focus on moving isotopes, please. Yeah, without upgrading the headquarters, it, this takes much longer, so. Oh, we're good. Got 30 minutes, um, but this is why we, we got the difference turret when we did. So we can just plonk down the defense turret and it can, can be used pretty quickly. Fortunately, I think this is going to be... If I put it there, it might actually cover everything. Maybe. Might not cover the fuel turbine. We'll have to see. <laughs> this could end very, very badly. <laughs> I have a lot of minerals and isotopes, so uh, that's fine. Right now it's the isotopes that are useful. Uh, now burn that down. Burn that down. Burn that down. And turn that down. I'm I'm really really not hurting for fucking artifacts right now. So <laughs> and it's the isotopes we we have to get up and running. We have to get um. <gasps> Oh, that's not on the power grid, is it? Fuck. Well, fuck. Okay. I'm gonna have to build... What does that require? One ice type, okay. at the moment. Good, 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 good. We've still got two living spaces, which also means we've got two jobs, because of the way we've been building, making sure that every single citizen we can have can also have a job. So. Um, 
And I think I should have enough isotopes. So, what I'm going to do is upgrade that. Prioritize that, please. Should have enough fuel to cover this, yeah. Then I want to upgrade this. Okay. Bingo. I want to upgrade this. Oh, that was probably a bad idea. Oh, well, we've got enough money at the moment. We don't have to worry too much. There we go. Oh, might just do it. Oh no, no, it's going to run out. The jobs are going to be offline for a moment. Ooh, oh, that must have been so fucking close. Right, so we're all good for the moment, which means we can now build a defense turret. And I was right, it does cover everything. Perfect. Fucking perfect. So, <clears throat> we're doing well so far, and I now do have enough, wait, 800? Yeah, that leaves 800. Ta-da! I've got more than enough power, so I think the gun uses 24, doesn't it? Yeah. Which will leave exactly 8 power. So... I should be able to build you. Build here. Why not? You're just being a dick then, aren't you? Um, I don't... Um, <laughs> build a bloody road there. What's your good? Okay. I don't know. I wonder why. I wonder why it won't let me build there anymore. I'm sure in the last patch it allowed me to. Yeah, I'll have to build it there. Which means these guys are going to get smogged out, but yeah, that is just something they're going to have to deal with. I don't even need that online for the moment. Do I have 123 resources? Oh, I got them. Mm. Yeah, I can put down some more batteries. It'd be nice when we can get some fucking large batteries. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you noticed the bug. So I'll come in here and it's still showing the power grid for the area. That's a bug. <laughs> Oh no, I can't put that there. Yeah. Yeah. I can do that instead though. We still made more money before the end of the day. So, yeah. We're doing, I think we're doing okay in terms of our income now. Um, I 
Wait, what do you mean no energy? Oh yeah, manually disabled. Yeah, it's fine. It's just... <laughs> that threw me. <laughs> um... Hmm. Yeah, grab that. Yeah, that's worth it for that. That's worth it for that. This is going to take a while to get rid of all of that. Um, so what I'm going to want to do actually is have at least... I'll have two people dedicated to that. I think we're getting to a point where... Yeah, where one's not enough, so I'll, I'll dedicate another person to it. Um, I'll put someone in there. It can actually run because it wasn't actually fucking running because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I think the smokestack isn't covered, but it's fine. What we're going to do is we're going to burrow the city when the attack starts. But if you burrow it, then the only thing that remains above ground that it can attack are the storage facilities because they're connected buildings and headquarters. Of course, the thing is, this results in minus 100% livability. So everybody here fucking plus 7 livability. That's not very good. Same with the job desirability. People just don't like it. Because it's right next to a fucking gun. Um, I think it should be fine though. Oh, there's a bit of trash as well. Again, like... I mean, what I could do is I could put the waste receptacles in there. But they fill them up so quickly it's not worth it. But it is a good, um, it is good to keep in mind. If you can't, if you don't have the employees to deal with it fast enough, uh, the areas become unlivable to the point where eventually people can't even get into their um, sleeping cubbies, and you lose population over it. So keep that in mind, like that you need to sort of get it all sorted as quickly as possible. Now, as it stands, I think... Did I dedicate two to each? Yeah. So this is going to be producing a lot of pollution right now. Um, I mean, for the most part, it's fine. As long as... As long as these don't hit... 24%, um, it's a win. So... But what we're trying to do right now is get this down. Uh, uh, the a main reason this number has been growing quite as quickly as it has been is because we've been, uh, what do you call it, uh, grabbing everything off the floor. Um, like, if you don't want to do that, a good way is to sort of claim these. Uh, where is it? Let's see if an ultra rich one. Do we have an ultra rich one? Yeah, there. So you can claim that and then you can just inside, assign an employee to it. Yeah. And then you don't, there's zero waste produced. Because you only get the waste produced from like ruins and whatnot. Yeah. That's where the majority of your initial waste is going to come from. I don't want that, go away. Oh. Or that. How this on? I love how this keeps going even underground. It is fucking hilarious. Unfortunately, we can't actually get any more materials to it. 
until it's unborrowed. But, oh well, such is life. Now, where is it coming from? Ah, there. There you are. Oh, it's a beefier boy than normal. Mind you, it did make a beeline for the fucking events, alright, so. It's gonna be expensive to fix. And these guys can't actually repair, out repair the damage that's done. They can mitigate it, but they can't out repair it. Or at least they didn't used to be able to. Maybe they can now. Given repairs cost money. How long have we got? Oh. There we go. I underestimated you, or should I say, I underestimated how much weaponry the council's money could buy. <laughs> if you say so. I'm going to enjoy stamping you into the ground next time. We're under strict instructions from the council to ignore Bahar, and I quote, perverse ramblings. The council will be pleased that you have bested them this time. Let's make sure we do it the next time as well. Now, I think from now on, they're triggered every every hour, maybe hour and a half, something like that. So technically, I could just upgrade this now. Mm. I don't think I've got anything in there that I need to worry about. No, I'm sure I don't. Mind you, the next ship is probably going to be a bit more beefy. I think we're getting our wastage under control, though. Yeah, I think it's it. <laughs> it's at the detriment of killing everyone. But, yeah, that's what you're going to do. <laughs> I've essentially claimed and burnt down everything that I, that's in my territory at the moment. So once this is done upgrading, I should be able to get some more. I don't need, I don't need to dedicate people to that anymore. Oh, and I can take the person off of that. Because when it's not in use, it doesn't doesn't need to be manned or anything like that. I wish when it wasn't in use, um, yeah, I wish when it wasn't in use, it didn't degrade the livability. I think we've got the waste under control, so I don't know why their livability has gone down. We still need like two more people, or we don't need them, but it'd be useful. <laughs> uh, 
How's this doing? Generating 18, so it's doing okay. We are down to 29%. Ah, oh, I didn't want to go in there. Fucking mouse double click. At some point, I figure out why my mouse has a habit of like every so often, it, it, the way it clicks doesn't. It, it clicks weird. So every so often, I've got like reset the mouse and the drivers. That's a Logitech. What was it? Uh, G203. Every so often, like the um, the main click button, the left one. Just, but it it sort of like does multiple clicks at once. Okay, so we got a mineral vein over there. That could be useful to get to. Um, now I think we're on top of this, so I don't strictly think we need a transport hub. So the next one to go for might the next best thing to go for could be. Oh, where's it gone? There, the command center. So we can expand out our range. I mean, I could get a shipyard up and running, then I can roam around with a ship and see if I can't take out these rebel camps. percent pollution uh, okay we're fine these guys don't like it but what are you gonna do part of it is that they've got zintane around them you could get an air purifier and that should help Of course, I could put them into like actual residences, and that'd help them uh, even more. That might be a better way to go. If I if I put down one residence, then I can actually get rid of all of their residences. I can get rid of all of their their things because it will give me more population. No, it won't. I'd need two of them. But I could put them over here. <clears throat> Might be what I want to do. Oh, been playing all this time on normal speed for that sake. <laughs> and no one telling me. But the thing is, is the next one, I think it's after 3000, it goes up to 3500. Yeah, one waste per resident every six minutes. I think that's what, four waste a day? Which, to be honest, the smoke stack can handle, even if we've got two of them. Bloody hell, three red artifacts. Insane. Uh, for an isotope, that's not really that great. Really give me a lot of artifacts now. But you see this now. I'm not saying I'm, it, this is mid game, it's still fairly early in the game, but now the amount of minerals I've got is kind of retarded. I can use them quite quickly. Like you build a factory and you. It, add everything inside the factory, you can use them quite quickly. The isotopes are the one that I always end up hurting for. Now, I could technically mine some isotopes, but I'm not at that point just yet.
oh, and an ultra rich isotope plane. I might really, really want to expand over to here. Yeah, I need to really think about what I want to be doing. Sort of like next step wise. I've got 10,000 energy storage. Actually, that's really useful. Um, I think I might want some more um, thingy storage. I should. That's all minerals. Okay, so I can get rid of that. Minerals, get rid of that. Minerals, get rid of that. Minerals, get rid of that. Yeah. I don't need any of that. I will at some point probably get rid of all of that, but we'll see. <laughs> I go up, up, yep. and then I'll just build a few more. One, two, three. I should actually bring my my fuel I can store up quite nicely. Now you see how, like, when it's not active, the pollution goes down. Like, it, it settles all over the place, but it goes down. An air purifier would be really, really good. It's very, it's not very cost effective. But it does end up being good. These are pretty cool as well. So, uh, the mines. I could put a mine down there, or even say there. Yeah, I could put the mine there. It generate pollution similar to the stack, but I could mine all of these resources with only one guy. It'd be useful. I wonder if we're ever going to find anything for, like, the final two guys. Yeah, see, now now it's all complete. 6,900, that should be a good... That should be a good amount to, like, just have a, a, a sort of excess. Like, at the moment, the energy is stored. 7,400, that should be more than enough to handle, like, offlining one of these for a little bit. Or, like, if one gets blown up or anything like that, it should cover a lot of it quite well. Okay. Uh, we're still, they're still working through the day. Because we've got two vacant job positions, and we've got two vacant living spaces. The problem. I mean, 24 per second is actually pretty good. I mean, we're, we're earning... We're earning decently. Um, I think what I might want to do is I might throw down a command center over here, put a gun up there, and then have like some fuel turbines. I might even move the uh, smokestack further up here. As I said, putting it, putting the smokestack next to a crevice is really fucking useful because a crevice sort of basically absorbs the excess pollution, so it doesn't spread out as much. Uh, 
then at some point I'm going to want to, um, where is it? Military, isn't it? Yeah, shipyard. To have a shipyard so I can start flying around and, and seeing who I can black. Because you can get your own ships. I've not actually done that yet. So. But I believe you can design them yourself. This should be cool. I'm going to want to go through, I think it's another day. I'm going to want one of these residential centres. Actually, I'm going to want two of them. Yeah, and they'll produce enough waste to warrant running the smokestack once per day. Which is really means barely any fucking pollution at all plus they give you pollution resistance so they won't get as bigger yeah, we don't like it from from that so Uh, as with a lot of these games, just waiting for the income to roll in. <laughs> and yes, I'd love to expand, but, you know. I'm not sure what would be more useful right now, actually. No, I definitely think the residential is going to be better first. I can half the power consumption from. I think. Unfortunately, you can't. Sort of, it'd be nice if there was like a. I, can't, I suppose I could uh, break it down into different energy grids. But yeah, I wish there was like a complete breakdown to tell you what was using what power. I mean, ah, no, no, back out. I did not double click the game, uh, my mouse did. And so if we come on to here, you can see six habitation pods, 12 monetization stations. So, yeah, that's six power. And then that's another six, so that's 12 power being used there. Another thirteen power. That's for twenty four. Um, yeah, <laughs> just the randomness of my of what I've grabbed. But you see, notice the waste, we're, we're absolutely decimating it now. And once we've gone through all of the waste, it's, uh, and the reason that that's happening is because I've got, I've got so many people dedicated to making sure that we don't have as much. So the smokestack is going more often. That's why we're getting 10%, 10%, getting up there. It's 5% here. So, you know. I mean, I'm not, I, I am not hurting for artifacts at all. Even in the slightest. So it's kind of a, a lot more useful, sort of getting more mi minerals, get more isotopes. Yeah. 
and even with dedicated people, you know, I'm not really sort of hurting too much for new employees. I can have another four, though. I think this is where I'm going to leave this episode. And hopefully, when I come back... Wait, oh, we during the work, work cycle? Yeah. Hopefully, when I come back, I'll be able to sort of build a, a new residence and whatnot. I know, it feels like it's slow going, but... Uh, or I could showcase the roads. I mean, there's not really much I really need to. But if I do put down a road, then that frees up another employee. But as I said, I'm not really hurting for the employees right now, so... Okay.